Hey folks, today we are doing another shopping haul. We are at the food line, and uh, oddly enough, this food line is more expensive than my other food line that I used to go to, but they just opened this one. It used to be a buy low. I think that's why it was more expensive. So hopefully the prices will go down soon, but we are kind of on a budget. Allie's been trying to watch what she spends. This week I really want to do burgers, um, bunless burgers with a nice salad, salad of like ranch and cheese and onions because I am craving a Texas Roadhouse style salad. So it's going to be real good. I'm excited about it. Not doing wine this week. Um, I don't know. I just want to cut the calories a little bit. Um, just kind of cut it out and get used to not drinking wine, but still have it on the weekend. So like I don't know, just being healthier overall. I'm always adapting, and that's what I'm always saying. When it comes to your diet lifestyle for weight loss and weight maintenance, always feel free to adapt. If it's not working, if you feel crappy doing something, switch it up. So I am buying for five nights. It's Monday, right after work. And so I would like to have two burgers a night, four ounces each, half a pound. So half a roll of beef a night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I need at least three rolls if my math is correct oh no it's been a long day it's a little late and i'm hungry but that's the good thing about doing my method of eating the same thing all week it's like i know what i went monday through friday i just got off work i'm tired so i'm just gonna go get my beef my salad and my lunch so let's go shopping So I forgot to mention lunch. So I've been wanting a larger lunch, more than just like my nuts and cheese. This week we're doing something that I haven't done in so long, which is gonna be some turkey sausages. They didn't have the spicy one, so I got the sweet turkey sausages, but that's okay, because there's still only one gram of carb per link, which is better than most other sausages, and they're 150 calories each, which is like way less than like a typical pork sausage. I actually got those earlier because they required some prep in the morning. They're so good. <laughs> so I'll show you how I make those early, early in the morning, right before work. Super simple, super easy as always. I mean, come on. All right. So I just went shopping. I only spent $42. That was with a shop and earn reward for $5. So about 47 plus the nine for the sausages that I already bought. So 56 bucks for an entire week of lunch and dinner. Not too bad. You can definitely do keto on a budget. Okay, folks, welcome to Ali's Kitchen Cabinet. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how I'm doing my uh, lunch. Super simple, super quick. Even last night I like pre-foiled my pan. I just got it ready to go. So you will need a foiled pan for this easy cleanup. If you broil and foil, cleanup is a breeze. So I'm just turning my broiler on high. We're going to set the pan in the oven on a low rack so we don't burn anything. But I did pick up these Butterball um, turkey sausages. They are very lean, which means I get to eat two and not feel guilty about it. These are the sweet Italian style. They didn't have the spicy ones that I saw online, but that's okay. They taste really good. And the sweet ones for each link 
is only one gram of carb, one gram of sugar, so not too bad. And they're 150 calories each. So this is a 300 calorie lunch, two grams of carbs. So I'm just gonna place these babies in my foil pan and put them in the broiler for like literally 15, maybe 18 minutes. We'll see just how brown they get. But this is great to make in the morning because um, I get up, I put my coffee on, and I slide these bad boys into the oven in the morning for like the 15 to 20 minutes that I'm taking a shower, come out, turn them off, put them in some Tupperware and they're ready to go. Super simple. There's no excuse not to follow a diet because you can make it as simple as you want. I'm not just talking keto, I'm talking pretty much any diet. Just take some pre-thought, some pre-planning, and some Tupperware. <laughs> P.S. Two of these bad boys will feed me for an entire week, Monday through Friday. There's five each, I eat two a day, 10 a week. Boom, math. Rolling on high. Oh, we're back. Oh yeah, look at that sizzle. So these took about 18 minutes. I just kind of go until they're brown enough, but I'm so excited I'm starving, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I do like to dip these um, in mustard. I'm just a mustard fiend. <laughs> when we moved, I had so many things of mustard in my cabinet. If you watched my what's in my kitchen video, I had like five things of mustard because I'm like, do I need more mustard? Maybe. And it's like 98 cents a bottle. So cheers, y'all. Mm-hmm. I am drinking my bubbly as well. A little caffeine boost throughout the day. But I'm a big fan of turkey sausages. Just because it's turkey doesn't mean it doesn't have flavor or that they're really dry. No, they're sausages. They're juicy. I'm also a fan of turkey meatballs too. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish my lunch and I will see you guys for dinner. We are doing bunless burgers and I don't know, since we grilled out last week, which was so amazing, I just, I was really craving some burgers this week. That happens to me a lot. I'm like, mmm, that was really good. I want to eat that for an entire week. <laughs> I guess I have food attachment issues. <laughs> so let's get cooking. So today I'm going to show you Allie's super top secret keto hack for making delicious burgers not on the grill. So just so you know, a pound of beef comes out to four burgers, basically four ounces as a serving. A pound has 16 ounces, which means you get four burgers. Math, yay. So this is the second half of my beef packet, which is 224 grams left over. And we're making two burgers tonight. So I'm just gonna make little patties. You know how burgers are made. Do you really need to see this? Why not, Allie? Just show them everything. And so when the man actually grilled out last weekend, he only salted them and they were so good. And so I've been doing that this week, all week. Today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. So excited for Friday. So I actually mash them into pretty big discs because they do shrink up and I like to have more surface area to my burgers. And we just salt them like a sieve, like a gentle snow on a winter's day. So what is Allie's top secret heck for cooking delicious burgers that are not made on the grill? Honestly, we got these groceries on Monday and I was just so hungry and I just wanted to get them done and quickly, you know, good and delicious. So I was like, I'm gonna broil them. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna broil. We're not gonna dirty up a pan. We're gonna broil and foil. Y'all know me. It's like you've never seen my video before. If you didn't know I was gonna broil, that's on you. <laughs> so we're broiling on high on a lower rack for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, these babies are gonna be like browned and crispy and so good. So let's stick them in the oven. All right, broil on high, lower rack. So while the burgers are cooking, I'm gonna show you how I make my salad. Something I read on Facebook that made me laugh was that, just a friendly reminder, if you're making a salad, you need a bigger bowl than you think. And this thing's pretty big. I mean, it's a big old mixing bowl. Okay, 175 grams of this green and crisp garden salad. Did I estimate correctly? We're going for 25 grams of red onion. Let's see, here we go. Make your bets, folks. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, so close, so close. I'm just gonna throw on these babies too. And I was just too lazy to grate my own cheddar. Plus, I really like the thinly um, grated cheddar. Perfect. Perfection. And 55 grams of our buttermilk ranch. I really do like making my modified ranch packet with sour cream, milk, and mayonnaise. But I was just not in the mood to make it on Monday after work. So we're going for 55 grams of the packaged stuff. And y'all notice like some people on keto are on a spectrum. Like I consider myself pretty strict because I measure basically everything, but then I don't mind some packaged foods, but I don't go by like keto products really. Ah, oh, dang, so close, 56. And that's okay, do what's right for you. Some people avoid, you know, pre-made mayonnaise and dressings because they don't like all the ingredients that are in it. I'm like, well, the carb count's good. It's simple, it keeps me on track. I've lost weight with it. 
So it's just going to depend on what you need and what your goals are. But don't feel guilty for using prepackaged things. But I will say this. Um, I had somebody ask me, you know, what's like your best tip if you want to start keto or go low carb? And my best tip is to avoid processed foods. So like dressing, I don't mind process, but I really would not suggest somebody who's trying to change their taste to go out and buy, you know, prepackaged like meals and things. I don't know. That's just me. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think. Are like those keto foods something that you incorporate a lot? Like those prepackaged foods? It's up to you. It really is. Okay. We're going to turn this off. We're going to grab our burgers. Looking pretty good. Got a nice crust on them. And then I'm just going to stick my cheese on. It's already gonna like melt. And then I'm gonna stick them back in for like 30 seconds. Little yellow mustard all over the place. And I am a fan of pickles, but I didn't wanna like have like whole pickles. I don't know, They're just like there's not enough spread when you have like sliced pickles. So I got the dill relish. I don't even count this, you guys. I'll be honest. Like I just put on enough to cover the burger. It says the serving size is zero calories and less than one gram of carbs, so I'm not very worried about it. And there we go, y'all. That is my dinner. Um, I'm super excited. Yummy, yummy. I already dug into my salad. Don't judge me. So, cheers, y'all. It's a burger. It's so good. So tasty. Sometimes you just want a burger. I've wanted a burger all week. But I'm going to finish eating my food because I am hungry. But this is a weekly keto meal plan. And I'm in maintenance. And in my other videos, I've said I go kind of lazy on the weekends. But this is how I do throughout the week. I also want to show you guys kind of what I do on the weekend as well. So, stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to like and subscribe. That would help me out so much. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, I will link all of that down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Allie. Have a good one. Bye.